fuck it. I'm in fashion, I bet I still up it. On December 23rd, 2021, Bronx rapper K Flock turned himself into NYPD custody in relation to the shooting death of 24 year old Oscar Hernandez, who's also known on the streets as OI Waka. K Flock, whose real name is Kevin Perez, is only 18 and had a promising rap career ahead of him. After emerging from the Bronx drill scene with songs such as Is You Ready, PSA, and Being Honest. K is a known Sevside 700 DOA affiliate. Waka seemed to be a beloved Sugar Hill OY member. OY rapper Edi Baby even took to his Instagram to show his condolences. That footage, I've watched that shit a thousand times. Bro, I just can't believe you left us like this. Bro always wanted to see me shine and see a smile on my face. I love you, Waka. I'ma go up for you. He also wrote, I'm not okay. This shit is hurting my soul right now. I'm living fast for you, Waka. Apparently, this specific DOA and OY beef stemmed from K Flock and Eda Baby's personal beef. As this deleted Reddit user explains, Eda Baby was on Instagram Live smoking with Wuladi. Wuladi is a prominent figure in the Bronx drill scene and he was a huge op to K Flock. Sevside and OGs were linked up at a time. OGs was jacking Eda heavy and Sevside wasn't after Eda was on live smoking with Wuladi. Long story short, OGs ended up siding with Sugar Hill and what you see today is a result of that. K Flock is in jail because he allegedly murdered Waka and basically all of this is is a result of Ida Baby smoking with Wuladi. Yeah. Why is it three already for one part two out now? I'm promoting. Fuck is you talking about? I told you this shit on Yo, bro, nah, what you the fuck? Lie. This shit got 300 views. Yo, you don't you don't you start dying. Man, man, I'm, 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 I'm gonna manage you, bro. You rapping. That's yo, 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 yo. This shit, why do this shit got 300 views? Hey, yo, daddy, man, you wanna hold me up like that? Alright, you know what, love? We out of here, man. Man, man hey, fuck hey, everybody. Ever since this, K and E Dot haven't been cool ever since. E Dot even denies this ever even happened. I found an Instagram live of K explaining how he feels about E Dot and the whole situation. Word of my mother. Word of my son, mouth, nigga. Every trip, nigga. Every trip, nigga. Word of my dad, nigga. And whoever with him, gonna have to run with him. Word of my mother, I ain't gonna lie. It could be me and him, nigga. But. It could be a me and him situation. Word of my mother. But whoever wanna rob for him, bro, word of my mother, then they can rob for him, nigga. Word of my mother, bro. Come, bro, word of my dad. Nothing is stopping me from upping his gun at that little nigga. On December 16th, 2021, Kay and a female who was believed to be his little sister were walking through Sugar Hill, which is OY territory. Moments before this, Kay was on FaceTime with his ops wearing the exact same clothes he allegedly committed the crime in while flashing a gun. Kay Flock was wearing a Montclair, a Miri's, and limited edition Jordans. He even rapped about doing drills in high-end designer clothes. This is why many people are so shocked with this rapper's case. Y'all hear about this Kay Flock case, man? So this is this rapper called K Flop. Got arrested because apparently he did a drill or he allegedly killed somebody. But he was rocking and he was dripped down in designer. K the designer demon. K, alongside the unidentified female, walked past the barbershop. Waka spotted him, then walked outside the barbershop to confront him. Next, K fired bullets, making the victim fly back into frame. Waka was hit in the neck and the back and was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Unfortunately for this mysterious mass shooter, like I said before, he was wearing very expensive, unique clothing, and it was all caught on camera. The next day, NYPD released this to the public. The NYPD has released surveillance video of a suspect wanted in a deadly shooting in Harlem. The incident took place yesterday morning on 151st Street and Amsterdam Avenue. According to police, Oscar Hernandez was inside a barbershop and the victim went outside to confront him. He was fatally struck in the neck and the back. He was later pronounced dead at Mount Sinai Hospital. Shortly after this, the cops began piecing everything together and a warrant went out for Kay. Kay is facing murder alongside two second degree counts of criminal possession of a firearm. There is speculation going around that his lawyer is going to use the argument of self-defense in court. Let me know how you guys think that'll go down in the comments.